Now, I'll talk about my ears in a little bit. So, what's going to, what we're going to do is try and figure out what can separate you from the rest of the people that are doing this. All right? Because as I said to my son the other day, I said, Jake, he wants to be a general manager in the NBA. He's a rising senior at Bradley University. And he's got a tremendously keen eye in terms of evaluating talent. Much better eye than I do. Much better eye. But as I said to Jake, there's going to be 10,000 kids coming out of college. There's going to be another 10,000 just in our basketball world that also want to become a GM. So you've got to create separators. And sometimes the separators aren't these real big elaborate things. They are sometimes the most minuscule things. All right? So as I talk today, there may be some things you haven't heard, which is great, and there may be some things that you've heard again, which I think is equal to, if not more important, because if you continually hear them from people who are different levels of the game, they're probably important. Okay, so as you go through the, the, the weekend, uh, this weekend, to me there are three things that are going to make or break this weekend for you. Number one is how well you listened, how well you listened. <clears throat> Number two is how keenly you observe. Because I've seen him in action. I can't, my pen can't keep up with his legs. Okay. So you've got to be ready to go. It's a fast-paced writing weekend would be my guess. And then the third thing is the intelligence of the questions you ask him. Because what you have now you need to take advantage of. A wealth of knowledge in that head. So take advantage of that. So that brings me, I often get asked, well, uh, Kevin, what is it that helped you get to where you are? And the first thing I always say is that I'm climbing a ladder and I've been very fortunate to get where I've gotten in my career and I'm, I'm at a certain level thus far. Thus far. All right? And what I mean by that is something that Michael Jordan once told me. He says, Su success doesn't stop once you get there. Success doesn't stop once you get there. Kevin Garnett would tell you the same thing. You win a world title in 2008. It doesn't stop. Okay? You got to keep coming back. So the question I get posed, uh, asked all the time is this. How did you get where you are? And to me, uh, it's going to sound stupid, but I do three things equal to, no, I actually do three things better than most everyone else in the world. All right? And these are the three things. This, I think, is the secret to my success. Whatever success I have had uh, to this point. Number one, I have big eyes. Number two, I have big ears. And number three, I have a small mouth.